Welcome to our review of the Holiday Inn, Herbert Walker Avenue in Southampton. So, we've been staying in room 803 at the Holiday Inn in Southampton. Good morning! <laughs> so let's show you through to the bathroom first, which is really big, really big shower. A uh, lovely shower with very spacious, um, with all your shower gel, shampoo and conditioner provided. And also they do provide uh, soap and lotion as well. So you don't need to bring anything with you if you don't need to. But really good size, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. Um, shaving mirror and shaving points. Um, and nothing much more to say about a bathroom, is there really? A big wardrobe with a, a large safe. Yes. So a really big safe, which is good for, would fit a large laptop in. And what I will say, I'm a couple of inches under six foot, and it's a struggle for me to reach all the yeah. way to the back of it, so it could have done with being there, really. Yeah. But, you know, it's a so good So just size. make sure you put your hand right yeah. to the back to, to make size, sure you clear everything. Use. And then, obviously, shelves, as you can see. It's got a fridge, which we had some complimentary water, and uh, a Twix bar as well, isn't it? A complimentary Twix bar, which is nice. Dressing gowns, which we haven't used. Um, and you've got an ironing board, an iron, and a, and a full-length mirror. So, and coming to the room, we've had a really comfortable night's sleep, haven't we, Paul? Um, yeah. No complaints whatsoever, and we've got lots of plugs. You've got two normal three-pin plugs, plus a USB on both sides of the um, of the bed, aren't you, Paul? And you've also got a decent telly, standard suitcase rack, and more plugs over there too. Then we have coffee and tea, complimentary coffee and tea, again with more plugs, um, and a desk area here. So it's been really comfortable, isn't it? Nice Anything you wanted to add, Paul? No. So, but the reason we booked this uh, room is because of this. Look at this. That is the ship which in half an hour's time we're boarding, the Anthem of the Sea. So we picked this room, or uh, booked an executive room because it's on the eighth floor and you've got views over the cruise terminal, the city cruise terminal in Southampton. Um, yeah, so it was lovely to just be sat here with a coffee, having a look at the ships and watching everyone starting to arrive. So, yeah, so that's it, holiday in Southampton. Yeah. We've uh, been pleasantly surprised, actually, because it looks really tatty from yeah. the outside. That's what a lot of people have said. The problem is, is from the outside, it does look very, very dated. Yeah. Well, it probably is quite old. Well. But I have to say, inside, I yeah. can't fault it at all. We had an excellent breakfast this morning yeah, as well. Yeah, we did. And the staff can't do enough for you. Yeah. Would highly, especially if you're cruising. Yeah. Because we are literally, if Carl turns the camera around, this car park here. Yeah. That's where good. we're parking. So we've literally got to move our car from out the front of this hotel, drive through that little gateway over there. Yes. And we'll, we'll be, be in. in there. So yeah. if you're going on a cruise, even it's if ideal. it's not from one of these terminals, it's absolutely yeah. ideal. You can't fault it. And just have parking. Just cost £15 a night. Yeah, it's quite expensive to park here. Yeah. But, but West Key car park's only up the road. And if you wanted to pay a five for 24 for hours. Yeah, and then you um, to ask exactly. So it's a uh, convenient. So yes, so we're, we're all ready and rocking to go. Look, suitcase uh, ready. Anthem of the Seas, here we come. Let's go Woo! <laughs> For more hotel reviews and cruising information, why not watch one of these videos next?